Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. This is the Lowdown Report. Last week I did my first news report for this channel um, and I didn't quite have a name for it, but I think I've come up with it and it will be called the Lowdown Report. I hope you did enjoy last week's if you did watch it and I will be creating a playlist on the channel so these videos will be easy to follow in future. Before we get into the news for this week, I just want to wish all my subscribers and those watching um, this video a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Today we're looking at a few topics. MBN Co is uh, trialing a 750 uh, 50, uh, near gigabit speed on uh, HFC uh, technology. Um, Linux users um, out there um, may have um, uh, known that Microsoft is looking at developing some software for the Linux platform and they have finally released Teams for Linux. Linux 19.3 uh, Linux Mint is now out which is a uh, LTS edition which means it is supported until 2023. Google is also blocking smaller Linux web browsers from its services. More on this soon and Norway has removed Huawei from its 5G rollout plan and instead have have opted for Ericsson. So MBN Co are trialing the 750 um, near gigabit speed uh, test. This is something which um, was first tested by NBN Co back in uh, July 2019 where they were actually able to get pretty much close to 1 gigabit speeds uh, during their trial on the HFC access network. Um, but uh, it looks like that they will actually be um, uh, doing the 750 um, speed trial. Um, um, so that's quite an incredible speed, which uh, will be available to HFC customers only. Um, there's no word on this for FTTP connection. We will start to see better speeds for Australians uh, from the NBN Access Network. I'll link to these articles in the uh, show notes for today. Teams is now available for Linux as well as Microsoft's uh, first Office Linux app. Um, so it enables high quality collaboration of experiences, uh, you know, community at work and educational institutions. Microsoft Teams, uh, the client, it's a bit like uh, Skype for business. Um, it comes with Office 365, which is uh, something which businesses subscribe to, which enables them to have the email and access to Office applications. And basically it's a pretty good collaboration software. Everything think there um, eventually like if you comment in your team's conversation then that will appear emails in a uh, certain folder I don't remember the name of the folder but it will appear there in your conversation history so it's integrated fully with office 365 um, this is a good thing for those which uh, may be using the office 365 platform and need to use teams for work however teams I find is a pretty resource intensive application I installed it on my Windows desktop once and it was a memory hog and used to start up every time I started Windows it took me a while to actually get to stop starting on Windows and usually this is something which is pretty simple to do so Linux Mint 19.3 is now out and uh, with it uh, comes the removal of GIMP the image editor um, on uh, this, the Linux Mint distro which means that uh, they're replacing it with a different application called uh, Drawing um, uh, so it's a, apparently a simpler application um, but you can always download GIMP from the software store um, there's also a couple of other changes to uh, the panels within Linux Mint, such as in your settings area. Um, but other than that, uh, it's also using, uh, it's built upon uh, Ubuntu uh, 19.3, uh, I think it was. Um, yeah, but basically it's the latest release of Linux Mint. So hopefully that will be an improvement to some users. If you're a Linux Mint user out there, um, comment in the comments and let me know if you'll be using the uh, new uh, distribution, uh, considering it is a long-term support ed uh, edition, which means it will have support until 2023. For the moment though, I'm sticking with Pop OS. It seems to be looking after me pretty well. In other news, Google is blocking smaller Linux web browsers from its services. Although there's uh, not been anything official from uh, Google, uh, Reddit has been exploding with some uh, information about this. Though there's no official word from Google, uh, some users are saying that it may be related to an account issue or a security setting which is on their Google account. 
In other news, Norway and their state telco provider Telenor has it banned in Huawei, picking Ericsson instead for their 5G partner. This um, is due to the fear that uh, of high-tech espionage and uh, battling with China over trade. So uh, that is the latest for the Lowdown Report for Technology Lowdown on December 24th, 2019. I hope that the content in this video has been useful to you. If you have liked this video, please like it and give it a thumbs up. If uh, you would like to see more videos like this, subscribe and don't forget to uh, uh, comment in the comments if you'd like to get some discussions going amongst uh, fellow peers that may be following this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.